it's a tool. You can do the same thing using Excel. It'll just take your shitload longer and 10 different Excel files probably to get org as organized and be able to do it properly. In business, you never know how it's going to roll out. So we were a startup. Guys out of uni had real no idea what we are doing. That's the reality. And we sort of started Aerion, really. There was a couple of PHP classes and programming classes behind us, and it was enough to get started. We were driving to a games company. Our goal was, let's be a games company. And that sort of shifted over time. I suppose the opportunities led into more business tools and applications. Yeah, so it was the first year was fun we made our money when i've done searches in the past the first time we used the term dev ready was 2015 so it's been nine years now they've already started off the back of us learning that okay we can build product we're getting good technically but can we really deliver outcomes for customers we learned that we couldn't do the same thing and be involved in the same thing Anthony took on the cto role i took on the reluctant ceo role i didn't put that title to my name for a long 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 time we sort of shifted that you need different hats and people to focus on different things in business solving two problems it's how do we get the right thing built for the clients asking the right questions and putting enough time in it to quote it properly so then either we don't go in too far and then we're in over our heads not getting paid for all the hours or the client's not getting what they're actually after we started to think about ourselves more in the line of what does a building company do, right? You've got an architect that's up front that plans a project and designs it if you're doing custom builds. We're in the world of custom builds, so we need to architect things. We need to think about it, do it right. And should we be building this thing? You might find a block of land out there that's full of rock and not possible to actually get the rock out or it's going to cost you half a million dollars to blow up the rock and it's not feasible anymore. Same thing in this space. It's working yeah. for us and we've got a great success rate of projects that go through. Some that we've even told, don't go ahead because there's not ROI, you're going to spend too much money on features that return little to no value. And that's the point, you need a business case, right? So reality is technology serves a business in the end or it serves users or it serves something else it's just a means to an end it's a, it's a way we get a solution out there yeah. it's not so it's really you have a process that has to get done what's the best way to do it and a lot of cases it's a tool that is customized to your use case your workflow and your business to make your business run